Hi, this is Hunter. I'm an applications engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be exploring the logic behind the generate operation plan and save operation plan commands in CAMWorks. So let's go ahead and generate operation plan on this circular boss feature we have. Right click and generate operation plan and we get a contour mill operation using a one inch flat end mill. I'll generate toolpath and we see we get the default um, toolpath where we're using a 40% of the tool diameter step down, we have no lead ins, and uh, really nothing fancy here. Hit OK, and let's figure out where all this stuff comes from. So if I right click on the feature and I go to parameters, this is a summary of the actual geometry parameters that CamWorks uses when it tries to differentiate uh, a feature. Uh, between uh, a different feature uh, that it might be just sized a little bit differently. So we see that it's a circular boss. It has a two inch diameter and a one and a quarter inch height. Uh, it also has the fine strategy selected. It's using the main spindle. And a couple of the parameters we don't see here are the material and whether or not the feature has a bottom radius and also whether or not this is a through feature. And notice this is not a through feature, this is a blind feature. So we'll just hit OK. And we'll remember those parameters. And we'll go into the technology database. And this is a mill feature. So we're going to click on mill. And then we're going to examine features. And then we'll hit features one more time. And this is the master window that controls all of the logic behind generating operation plans. So the way it works is first we select the feature type, and that was a circular boss. And then in the second list, we match the feature condition to those parameters that we saw earlier. So we're looking at a blind feature using the fine strategy. It has no bottom fillets. Uh, in this case, these parameters apply to all materials. So let's look at the feature depth. So my feature depth is one and a quarter inches. So let's scroll down until we find a blind and fine feature. Here we go. Blind, fine, no bottom fillet, all materials. The depth is between one and two, and the diameter, well, that's pretty wide open. That's between zero and 500. So this is the matching feature condition for that particular feature we selected. And then we see at the bottom the operations that I'm given for that particular feature. And notice we only get one contour mill operation. Now I could add an operation in here using this drop down. I could also remove the contour mill operation. And if you've ever right clicked on a feature and said generate operation plan, you did not get any operations, uh, that could mean one of two things. Either A, there was no matching feature condition in the feature conditions box, or B, there were actually no matching operations for that particular feature condition. All right, further on um, this box, we see the default operation parameters that were selected for that particular feature. So let's go ahead and make a couple changes here. Let's say, in this case, I want to go, uh, let's go the full one and a quarter inch on the first cut, and let's also add a ten thousandths finish pass. And I'll hit close and we don't need to save anything because this is uh, an access database that dynamically saves any changes. We see that the tool was selected based upon the feature diameter. If I click on this little box we can see the expression that CamWorks used. So it's trying to pick a feature that's between 60 percent and 40 percent of the two inch diameter. So it's looking for a, a tool that's between 0.8 and 1.2 inches in diameter and it picked a one inch end mill which is right in the middle. Also I could I could select a tool and have it use a particular tool every single time we see that feature. And this is actually what happens when I change the tool and then I save the operation plan. We'll see that in a minute. Also as we go to depth we see that we're going exactly to the feature depth plus zero. And we could add a little extra or move a little bit uh, from this box. And usually, if you have a through feature, what it does is it will add a small amount, maybe 20 to 50 thousandths to your feature depth so that the tool actually goes below the end surface of that feature. 
So I've made a couple little changes in here. Let's go ahead and get out of the technology database. And now if I right click on that circular boss one more time and I generate the operation plan, I'm going to say regenerate. So that's going to go back into the database and it's going to read from that information that I just modified. And I'll generate tool path. And notice the difference. Now we're getting, uh, we're stepping down in only one pass. And if we zoom in, we're, you see we're taking uh, two different passes in the XY direction. One cutting pass and one finishing pass. All right, let's make another change. I'll double click and in this case, let's just add uh, an arc in. There we get some arcing tool path. And let's also go ahead and change the tool. Maybe in this case, I want to use a, uh, a half inch end mill. All right, that looks good. So now let's go back and let's save that operation plan. So I'll head back to the Camworks tree, right click on the feature, save operation plan. And I can either overwrite the existing condition. Now remember that condition was for all features that were between something like uh, one and five inches and then uh, for all pretty much every diameter. And, or I can create a new condition and if I create a new condition, I, then I can either make a new strategy or I can choose the existing strategy and that will actually break up the feature conditions into smaller groups. Because remember the uh, diameter selection was, was quite wide and so was the depth. So let's go ahead and let's try that. We're gonna create a new condition using the same strategy. So I'll uh, check okay. And here we see the existing condition that was our ID 1308. And this condition applies to features for depths between one and two, and for diameters between zero and 500. So let's change this. Let's say uh, for this new condition we're creating, we want it to apply to any feature that is between one and one and a quarter. And I'm gonna keep this at one and a quarter because remember we selected the tool to go down one and a quarter. But uh, this particular feature and that size end mill, I'm going to use for any circular boss that is between 0 and 5 inches in diameter. And I'll hit OK. And let's see what that did. So I'll go back into the technology database. And we'll click Mill, Features, Features again. This is a circular boss. We'll scroll down in here. And then we have our, the, the old condition was ID 1308. And we see that it actually got broken up. So now it only applies to features that are greater than one and a quarter inches in depth. And it only applies to features that are greater than five inches in diameter. So this has been reduced. So it does not apply to every single boss anymore. And now if we scroll down to the bottom, we see the new condition I just created where it applies to features between an inch and an inch and a quarter in the depth and for diameters between zero and five inches. And notice as well, we have changed the tool selection. So now it's always using that half inch end mill that I selected. Now, if I did not want to do that, I can come back in here and I can use an expression one more time, or I can select a different tool, or I can even change the tool type. Furthermore, if we go to the default operation parameters, we see that we have added that arc in parameter. And we've also still captured all of the other parameters such as my one and a quarter inch first cut amount. And that's really all there is to it. And go ahead and close out. And now we can use this new feature condition for any circular boss that fits those parameters that I've defined. So this video is just a quick demonstration of the logic behind the generate operation plan and save operation plan commands in Camworks. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.